it really sounds like it's arcing out inside and shorting. Have a listen to that. First time I heard it, it really freaked me out. G'day folks, Jason here from the Outer Farm. We're actually on the trial property this morning. Bit of a weird one today. This is where I've got my electric fence charger, and my single hot wire set up. As you can see, I've got a galvanized star picket there. That's six foot long, and it's driven five foot into the ground. This is another six footer, but it's only driven two foot in the ground. The issue being is, when we turn this charger on and we're getting water through the cell grazing system, this makes a weird noise. It really sounds like it's arcing out inside and shorting. It sounds like there's ants or they've carted mud up there and the moisture is arcing out inside. That doesn't sound good at all. It sounds like it's arcing out. I hope it's not shorting out and that catches fire. We'll be in trouble, it's the only one I've got. The thing is it hadn't been like that before, only in the last few months. But what had happened is we had all that rain and that post, which is holding that solar charger up, was getting loose. So I only hit it into the ground, it probably been three or four hits. But then I moved that solar charger and moved it to the other part of the property where I required it and didn't come back to two months later. And that's when I heard that sound. I'm hoping it's just a simple case of digging down through this star picket and finding a hole in the pipe. So imagine the chances of that happening across my entire trial property here. I've come across an area and drove that six foot earth stake in and then beside the black star picket to hold that controller and it's straight through a pipe. It could have been anywhere on the whole property but it's strange how it just comes straight across at that point. You have a closer look, there's not much difference between that star picket on the earth and the black post. Well here goes nothing. I hope that's all it is, that's all I can put it down to. I hate to be digging this hole for nothing. Probably lucky Nicole's not here. She'd be dragged into it as well. She can count her lucky stars. That's weird. Hit something already. Oh, that's only a rock. Well, that couldn't have been good. That's only like four inches under the ground. Well, that's a promising sign. It's a hole in the pipe. Or the water building around there. I just hope it's not on that six foot galvanized earth stake. Do a repair here, and I'm hoping they haven't put one through there. When I do this repair, I suppose I could check that. I'm hoping it goes this way and away from that. Otherwise, I'll be second guessing myself and have to dig around that one to find out if it's got a hole in it too. Probably explains a few things. All the other solar positions we got on using the same charger and the rest of the property were getting 5.1s. But this was getting 6.4. Obviously, the load of moisture in the ground and that five foot, six foot star picket galvanized is really earthing out. Anyway, better pull this post out, got the center of the hole and keep digging, see if I can't find it. Looks like I've only got, there's a hundred mil, four inches left. I've done repairs in the property before along the watering system and they've been 900 deep. Don't know why this is so shallow, it looks like it's only a foot, but it's promising for me, it saves a lot of digging. Oh, that's awesome. Well, it's not awesome. I've got a hole in my pipe, but it's awesome that it's close to the surface and I know what it is. There it is there. Only a foot below the ground. It's a one inch pipe. And it, go and it goes in that direction. So I know it's missing the earth stake. So that's an easy fix. And I know exactly where that's going to. That's directly in line heading over to that water trough. Guess what? There's that one inch line. This water trough we used to use when you're continuous grazing so they could get in that paddock and also in this paddock. 
we don't use it no more because now we've started the cell grazing system and moving our cattle through the cells we've got to give them individualized water in every cell but i'm still going to fix i'm not going to just blank it off because it does come in handy occasionally when we don't want to put watering system in the driveway we use that trough oh man i tell you i can't catch a break that's where that hole is right there if you can see it there's a there's a slice in the side of the pipe i've just noticed i was making some room to make the connection with the joiner i'm digging there i don't know if you guys can see that there's water coming out that face now i'm second guessing myself this earth stake i wonder if i've tried to draw driven it which is four inches over into there and couldn't get it in in the first place and then decided to come back here where i could drive it in <sighs> i'm gonna have to do some more excavation and find out why that water's in there potentially it could be a two two three foot dig to replace that section oh so much for an early day one thing good about it it's wet it's wet and it's dig easy i haven't had to use the crowbar yet So I've escaped that out more and it appears to be leaking out of the ground. I reckon it's just soil or water over the time just leaching back out of the ground. I can't find any hole. This is where it's about to get ugly. One benefit of being the YouTuber is I'm going to use this camera. I've got to go up to the pump shed which is probably 30 foot away. I know that hole is quite big. I'm going to turn it on, come back and if that's already filled with water I've got to go off this camera, the image, to find out if that was leaking down there. Hopefully it doesn't cover me camera in water and hopefully I get back in time to find out where that one leak spot is and it hasn't filled that pipe up. Oh well, let's give it a crack. You guys keep an eye on for me. Give me a yell if there's only two holes or one hole. Here I come. Oh, right in the nick of time. Oh, look, I can even seal that off. Yeah, there's definitely no water coming out the other end. I reckon I'm right to fill that back in. Go to town, get some, get a joiner, come back and we'll fix it. We'll turn it off before it fills the water. That's a good sign, there's air there now. That's the end of the water. If only that was an artesian spring, I'd be, an air, be a millionaire, I could bottle mineral water. Keep dreaming, I've got to keep working and make money. Off to town, get some parts. How bizarre is that? Cut straight through this one, but all of a sudden, doesn't want to cut through. Feels sharp enough. Oh well, we go get the oh, You're not gonna believe this. I haven't used my Robies for ages. I've been using my Dewalt. And two flat batteries. Didn't want to wait for it to charge, so it's just there. I felt like I needed to explain myself then because clearly it looks like I don't know what I'm doing. Couldn't find my hacksaw. Expensive hats for that one. Right Put the ends on. It's a good sign. side on <sighs> this is where the soap side comes in handy
for this last little bit, I had to go to the shed and grab a persuader. Beautiful, nothing like a love tap with the persuader to get it on. Join this up, run some water through it, hopefully good as gold mate. Let's have a look. Let's turn her on and have a look. By the looks of that, winner winner chicken dinner. Nothing along there. I think I might fill this hole back in. Let me before I fill this hole in though, I might. Let's throw that star picket back in to hold this solar panel. Last thing I want to do is Get that pipe again. Well, this looks like a better place than any. About a foot away from the earth stake. Looks like we could be a foot away from the pipe. I like that one. I can't believe how lucky I was that one. Four inches. And I would have had two star pickets through the pipe. Can't believe it. I'll make sure. I don't think I need to worry about jamming that dirt underneath that pipe at the moment. It's like cement. That pliable, it's going to run under there anyway. So I'm not about to put my foot in there and ram it with my foot either. That won't be a good end to the day. Well, there's another job I've been putting off for about three months done and dusted. Still wet, still getting 6.2. I'll let that settle down a bit and then put some pasture seed on it and then I'll just mulch it over. That'll stop the weeds coming up. And about two months ago now, Nicole kindly let me know that the driveway was leaking water. Perhaps that's an artesian spring. I can still, there's a chance of still making me a million yet. But there's a good chance it's going to be a polypipe and that root is under there and I'd say it's kinked over and split the edge of the pipe. But that'll do another day. I've had enough for one day. I might even get the cold through that one. I reckon it'd be a good work experience for you. At least then you know how to do it if any more happen in the paddock. What do you reckon that, Nick? Fat chances, I reckon. Anyway, guys, have a good morning, a great afternoon, and a terrific easing. Wherever you're watching this from, and we'll catch you later. Ah, oh, this is gonna be a ripper. Rip out all the pavers. Find it, dig it, get cracker dust, even it out, lay down the pavers and hope it doesn't sag. Yep, can't wait for this one.